it's the Saturday wrap. It is actually the Saturday wrap. It's the early morning Saturday wrap for Saturday the 10th of September 2022. Me looking back on the week that's gone. News, tech, beer, things and other things. It's been a bit of a week as I'm sure you're probably aware anyway. So this is me, as I said, looking back. First three things I would have phrase of the week, app of the week, because tech and thing of the week. Let's start with the thing of the week. Her Majesty Elizabeth II passed on Thursday. 96 years old, was working on Tuesday, um, seeing the new Prime Minister. Um, I had a soft spot for her, I have to be honest. She joined the land army. She was fighting Nazis. Okay, maybe not in the front line, um, but definitely supportive. And um, she kept out of politics. And um, she was a constant. She worked hard. I saw a picture on Facebook this morning of um, the Silver Jubilee when she came through Bedworth. I think I could actually see myself sitting on a wall. However, I think the monarchy's time has now passed. I'm not a Republican, but um, King Charles III, I would just like to see it fade away. Um, don't a president, prime minister's fine, we can vote on like that, but sometimes things move on. Anyway, um, yeah, it was rather sad and she was rather good. And I don't think things will ever be the same again. But there you are. Anyway, um, the uh, phrase or word of the week and the app of the week are both linked. The app is one that I've chosen before, which is Filmic Pro. And the word, which I probably had before, is subscription. Anyway, um, last Saturday, everything just blew up. It had happened before that. Filmic Pro is going to subscription. Currently, we're on version 6. Version 7 will be subscription. £2.99 a week. I mean, Filmic Pro is not cheap. But in the great scheme of things of buying software, it relatively is. Their support is adequate. Uh, they could be quicker on fixing bugs, but they really messed up the process of transferring onto subscription, which they rolled back and said, we may not do it that way. Thank you for all your advice. They've annoyed a lot of people, mainly because they're people like me, the odd do a video sort of person where a subscription is not going to marry in with their usage pattern and especially not a £2.99 a week. A week. Nope. Um, it's a pushback against subscriptions now. And I understand why subscriptions are there. The engineers, the developers, they need paying. And if you've got a rather relatively low priced app, which is a one-off, and you can't charge for updates, then Apple has given you the subscription model. And I don't think it works. Although um, Spotify and most streaming services and such like, so not in every case, but in this case, definitely not. I'll come back to that anyway. So um, <clears throat> Saturday, as I said, Filmic Pro, um, this one will run and run. Um, Saturday afternoon, The Weird Dad, Taproom and Brewery. I ended up talking to Mr. Weird Dad. <laughs> um, he's really rather not weird. He's a great guy, actually. And we ended up talking about Greek IPAs and water profiles. That's what I like. Anyway, um, after that, I wandered back, went to Tesco's and, yeah, shoplifting. Four youngsters, 
all looking well off. The classic distraction where they all came in, one started shouting, how do I pay for this, how much is it? The others just disappeared off and stuff. If I wasn't as intoxicated as I was, I would have intervened, but the security guard was a bit rubbish. And that's our future. Didn't fill me with joy. I don't like thieves. I don't like thieves at all. They weren't in need of what they had. They were just drinks. <sighs> hate them. Really hate them. Um, parenting and such like. Anyway, moving on. Sunday, new insurance. Moved insurance company. Um, gonna get cash back on it. Um, times are hard. Really hard. Um, strangely enough, did most of it online, but uh, it took about a week for, well, just a, under a week for the documents to come through, which are online. Um, I think not all insurance companies are the same, but there you go. What can you do? Um, a Monday, uh, a new prime minister. Mm. It was announced that Liz Truss is now the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Um, if you're looking for a new process internally of the Conservative Party to elect a new leader, um, may I suggest you truncate the process. It took far too long. The Hastings, well, they're not actually needed everywhere. Everyone's online, you know, and I think a lot of people are just bored with it after a while. But there you go. Um, Tuesday, um, Boris and Liz went up to Balmoral. There were complaints that they didn't go in the same plane. The old Prime Minister and the new Prime Minister in the same plane? No, I don't think so. Think about it. But there you go. Um, some people will complain about anything and not really think about it. But Okay, Monday night, jumping back, because, you know, things... They'd moved the vinegar in Little Ah uh, in Littles. In Aldi. They moved it away from the sauces and all the other things and they'd hidden it away, but there is vinegar there now. And they did have scotch eggs again. Which is good. So I saved a little bit of fuel by not having to go to Tesco's and get them to price match, which they were already. And I prefer all these scotch eggs. Um not as much sausage meat on them, easier to eat. Um, and preferable. But the same price, what can you do? Um, also on Monday, I was thinking maybe if I have enough money I could get away. Let's have a look at Travel Lodge in Hereford. Yeah, had a look at it and decided no. Prices are still far too expensive. And I was thinking last year and the year before when we were out of lockdown, you could just have a look and then go. Now, you're going to have to book well in advance because it's just far too, everything's far too expensive. Apart from petrol, which is slightly coming down, although not so much in the valleys. Thank you, Wales Online. Yeah. Cost of everything. Tuesday, had a look at Beast Cam, um, a replacement for... Um, Pro 179 one off payment. Also, having a look at Cinema P3 seven day trial after that 599 one off payment. And I still got Movie Pro, which I learned this week will do front and back cameras together, which I'll have a look at. You know, overdone it on the camera apps, and of course, there's the internal one as well. Oh, by the way, um, a Windows. Um, camo and a 10s or Lytro Glow as well. Um, Tuesday also, Amazon's own credit card, um, where you get cash back, they're getting rid of it. Please choose a new default method of payment. Um, and anything that you've gained up until now, you will get back in the form of a credit. Yeah, well. It's a bit of a shame. I suspect it's because people got the credit card, only used it for Amazon, didn't use it for other things. And when it came up for renewal, it just wasn't worth it. I could be wrong, but that kind of sounds like it. Tuesday morning, Tuchel got sacked. 
Yeah. Um, although the way Klopp is pray, uh, praying, uh, probably is praying, actually playing at the moment, who knows with him? Uh, he said totally different management structure and ownership structure at Liverpool. Yeah. Mm, football. Okay. Um, Beaver Town. Beaver Town is now 100% Heineken Town. Um, Robert Plant's son is now an advisor. It doesn't work for them. Yeah. Beaver Town. It's still good, but I have a feeling not quite as good as it used to be. Um, cost cutting and mass market. Supermarket shelves. Hello, Tesco. Yeah. Okay. Um, Wednesday. Also, Apple announcements far out. Okay, got most of them right because well, it was the iPhone announcement and Apple Watch announcements. Didn't get the Ultra right. Um, AirPods Pro Two. The big thing for me was the Dynamic Island. A bit of a software update to a bit of hardware. Um, I was really impressed with that. Really, really, really impressed with that. Um, version 16 of iOS coming um, two days away on Monday. And there's also a 15.7.1 beta out. I suspect it's for those devices like my iPod Touch that are not going up to 16. Hmm, there you go, whatever. Um, Thursday, Thursday day off, day off after the Apple announcements, a bit of a video into Newport, uh, a lot of cloud bursts, and in the afternoon, Twitter just exploded. Um, the royal family all went up to Balmoral, half past six in the night. Um, by Twitter, the Queen has died. Also push notifications. As I've said, rather sad. Um, what else? Um, King Charles the Third. Well, I've already said I don't see a future for the monarchy. Apparently, there's no gap. Uh, the Queen dies. There's a new king immediately. It has to be confirmed, but that's the way it is. Mm. And lastly, yesterday in spoons with the Irishman. <laughs> behind the bar uh, he said it was his idea he's really good actually um they had a manager special mixed grill and lots of chips anyway um that was my week um looking ahead off to Caffilly, uh, if the buses are running properly and um brew monster maybe for a dark oh, sorry a red fruity beer we shall see Anyway, so that's it for this week. Let's have a look at the timing, 13.13. Bye-bye 13. Um, and bye.